guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Renee with Renee's Creative Concept. Today's video is actually going to be a bonus video. It is a collaboration with Sue at Discovering the Art of Living. She is doing the 12 movies of Christmas and today's movie is going to be A Charlie Brown Christmas. This is a really old film that I used to adore as a child and it's about the little characters from Peanut and Charlie Brown picks the only real tree in the tree lot and it is a skinny, scrawny little tree but he is convinced that it will do exactly what it needs to do and Charlie Brown is very upset and depressed around the Christmas season but after Linus explains to him the real meaning of Christmas, Charlie Brown decides to change his outlook on Christmas and takes this little tree home and everybody ends up being happy. So Linus actually reads a scripture and I have it here on this pillow so I'm going to read it to you guys and it says, And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothing, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was the angel with a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. Luke 2 verses 10 through 14. And I think this is a great scripture for us to remember around this time of the year right now. And I just want to be able to give back to some of my viewers who might be watching. So in this video, I'm going to have a secret phrase at the end. And whoever is selected to win, I do have a $25 gift card to give to a special viewer of mine. And I'm actually going to be using this gift card in my craft for today. I'm going to be turning a scrap piece of paper scrap piece of wrapping paper into a cute little Christmas card holder, a gift card holder. So if you guys want to see how I do that, just stay tuned. So for this DIY, we are going to be using a gift card, something to write with. You need your paper. I'm going to be using the Charlie Brown paper and you need some scissors. We're going to start by trying to create our template and we're going to do that by cutting out a large piece of the paper and then you're going to measure it using your gift card. Now that we have our paper cut out, we're going to turn it over onto the blank side and then you are going to use your gift card to measure it so that you can use that to cut out your template. You wanna have three gift cards across and then four up. So I'm just going to measure around the gift card um, three times across the bottom and then I'm just going to measure it um, around the gift card going four times up. four times up measured I'm just going to go ahead and trace around the card um, two more times across the top so that I can make sure I have the right distance um, across the top of my template and then I'm just going to measure the sides on the, the two that I'm going to do right here in the middle so that I can just make sure that I have the right measurements and just make sure everything is kind of square it's not going to be exactly square but um, you kind of get the idea so then we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut out around our template. And then once we get our template cut out, we'll be ready to start cutting the paper for our actual DIY. Now that we have our template cut out, we're going to lay that on top of another piece of paper and then we're going to use that to cut out our um, the piece of paper that we're going to be using for our DIY. It's kind of um, very similar to tracing it, but I'm not drawing it out on the line, so I'm just going to cut around the paper and go from there. So this is our paper that we're going to be using to do our template, and we're going to just fold that paper in half, like so. Um, try to line it up as best you can and then kind of mark where your center piece is going to be, where your center line is going to be. 
and then you want to open that back up and then you want to fold each side in half so you want to kind of meet it let them meet in the middle where your original center point was and you want to press down on that paper as well so you can go ahead and mark that so once you get to that step it should kind of look um, very similar to what I have and then you can kind of fold it in half and make sure all corners of your paper are pressed down good then you want to open it back up and you want to start folding each corner up in a triangle you want to make sure that you get close to the line that you have marked but you don't want to be on top of it because once you get ready to make your next fold if that um, paper is over that line then it's going to make the paper hard to fold there and you don't really want to deal with that when you're trying to get this um, gift card holder to go into its last place so after you have all four corners folded in like this you just want to fold those um, papers back together in the middle like this and then you want to flip it over and you want to just fold each end up and you want to fold up right to that point right there in the center and then you want to press down and make sure that your paper is down um, really good and that there's no wrinkles in it I had a little wrinkle in mine and then you just want to do the other side the same way so you just want to make sure that you're not going up too far and that you're folding it right to that corner where the two corners um, originally meet at and then you just want to take the corner on the tops the top corners and you just want to slide them under where um, they fit right under the little flaps there and then once you finish you'll have this little open space and you can leave it or in my case I'm just going to um, cut out another piece of the Charlie Brown wrapping paper a little bit smaller than what my original um, piece is and then I'm just going to slide that in there right under the flaps but if you guys want to use a different kind of wrapping paper or if you're not using a Charlie Brown wrapping paper and you want to use different styles and different textures I think that would be a great idea it would make this little gift card look cute so no worries if you don't have um, enough paper to do the same on the inside as on the outside you can always mix it up and then once you get it tucked in there you want to just fold it in half and this is your gift card holder your gift card can slide in to the inside of it just like that or there's also two little pockets when you fold it in half if you want to put it in one of those places so now that I have my little gift card done I'm actually going to be making a little bow for it I am going to be using this candy stripe bow that I got at the Dollar Tree last year and I'm just going to wrap it around my little gift card holder and I'm just going to tie it into a little bow like this I'm going to dovetail the ends and that is going to complete this project my secret saying for this video is from a Charlie Brown Christmas and it's when Charlie Brown says I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about I will pin my email in the comments down below Make sure you listen for the secret saying and be the first one to send me an email with the secret saying in it and you will be the winner of a $25 gift card from Dollar Tree. Thanks for playing. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoy watching me turn this piece of paper into this adorable little gift card holder. Don't forget to leave your comment down below about the special phrase so that you guys can be entered to win this gift card. It is a great little gift to have right before Christmas. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider liking this video as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel and turning on your post notifications so you never miss a video from me. This video will be linked in my Christmas on the Cheap playlist that will be in the description box down below. And that is also part of my cozy Christmas themed holiday and I hope you guys go back and watch all of those videos so you can see what I have been up to this Christmas season. Um, I do have one or two more videos coming up that's going to be part of my Christmas holiday so I hope you guys will stay tuned for those. Thanks again for watching.